Welcome back. Good to see you again. I've got two multi-effects units here that both use IRs, both have effects pedals, both can be used as a USB interface, and have software editors for your PC and Mac, with loopers, a tuner and a drum machine. But which one should you buy? Well, that's up to you. Well, listen to me. Thanks for watching. So in this video I'm shooting out the new XMG300 and the Valaton GP100. Hover over the timeline to skip to chapters that you want to watch. Let's first listen to the factory patches. I'll we'll play similar patches on both units and both units will be connected via USB, using them as an audio interface to get the best and stereo sound if the reverb effects are in stereo. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look at the spec comparison so that you can see what's on offer. Nuex have their proprietary TSAC, true simulation to analog circuit, a 32-bit 48K, whilst the Valaton has 24-bit sampling of 44.1K. The MG300 has 25 cab IRs and the GP100 has 40. 25 amps on the MG300, 
45 on the GP100, but this includes acoustic and bass amps, which the MG300 doesn't have. Four mics with three positions on the MG300, which the GP100 doesn't have. But both models have IR slots, 36 on here, 20 on here, 50 effects pedals, 24 effects pedals, although the MG300 uses TSAC algorithm, both units have a tuner and looper as well as a drum machine. In my opinion, the drums sound better on the MG300, but I don't really use a drum machine all that much. I use backing tracks via my phone into the aux socket, which both of these units have as well. They both got headphone jacks, quarter inch on here, 3.5 mil on here. They both have the expression pedal, which can be customized. So now let's take a listen to similar effects pedals on both of these units. Now the prices are pretty much the same, both currently at around $140 there or thereabouts, but of course that's subject to change. So which one suits you best? Do you want the mic features of the new X, or do you want the acoustic and bass simulators of the Valaton? To be honest, they're both great value for money, and it really is going to depend on the features that you want from a multi-effects unit. They also both have software editors that sync with the units. So let's take a look at that. Both companies offer free, great, downloadable software. Looks slightly different, but they do effectively do exactly the same thing. The new X editor software has a few more features, obviously, with the microphones, but the Valaton editor software, you can rearrange the pedal in any order that you want to. Now, I won't go in too deep with the software. You can have a look at the individual videos on my channel if you want to see how that software works and interacts with the unit. And also both units can be used as a USB audio interface directly into a PC or Mac. I've got individual videos on my channel going into more depth on both of them. I'll link it up there. They sound very different, but not necessarily better. Having said that though, after using them both for a while, I think the feature set that works best for me is the new XMG300. And in my humble opinion, and as I said at the beginning, don't listen to me, the sounds are slightly better and the effects pedals sound better because it's using the TSAC technology. I can forego the acoustic and bass patches, but again, that's just my opinion. And I'm just a guy on YouTube. More importantly, of course, which one did you prefer? Let me know as always. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the comments. Cheers. <laughs>